My name's Jackson Goldstone. We're here in Squamish in my hometown. And we're gonna do a bike check in my garage. So right now I'm running a Santa Cruz Bullet e-bike in a size medium and it's uh, 170 mils of travel. I've got it set up as a mullet bike, so 29, 27.5. If you're watching this video, <laughs> you need to know what mullet means. Um, fits me perfect. I don't need to have any uh, headset cups or different links or anything to make it fit. Absolutely love it for riding in Squamish. It's, uh, it can take on anything. So for suspension, I'm running a DHX2 coil in the back and a Fox 38 in the front, both at 170 mils of travel. Yeah, so I'm not super picky with my bikes, just a couple things that I like to take note of, but with suspension, it's, yeah, I haven't really changed it much. Uh, I had Jordy, I had Jordy look over it at one of the World Cups, and uh, yeah, I've loved how it's felt since then. I haven't even touched it, so thank you, Jordy. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if he set it up for dry or wet, because he doesn't even tell me when what he does. He just goes, try that. I'm like, what'd you do? And he's like, try it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so for my cockpit brakes and wheels setup, uh, I'm running XGR brakes front and rear. Uh, I've got 203 mil rotors front and rear. And uh, yeah, I really like to get them as grabby as possible just to make sure there's as much stocking power as possible. Um, for drivetrain, I've got 165 mil cranks. Okay, that looks like a 34 tooth. A 34 tooth chainring. So for bar stem grip, I'm running Bergtech 35 mil stem, 35 mil rise bars, and my bars are cut to 765 in width. 35, 35, let's just go with it. <laughs> if it's wrong, I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, I've got some ODI Elite Pro grips that are perfectly worn into my hands, and uh, yeah, that's my cockpit. Spoke tensions, come on. For wheels and tires, I've got the Santa Cruz Reserves on there. Um, spoke tension's pretty normal. For tires, I run Asagai DHR, just as a normal. I run that on all my bikes. Absolutely love it. Probably about 24 PSI in the front, 26 in the back, so good enough rolling speed, but still a bit of grip. So yeah, that's kind of my, my go-to. It's an e-bike. Do people really care how much it weighs? For e-bikes, I'm not very picky about the weight. Um, you know, it's got a lot of other things that it can do, so you kind of just gotta ride what's heavy, and yeah, it ends up uh, being a fun time. Um, so yeah, the e-bike compared to my downhill bike actually is somewhat similar. Um, I find that the weight of the of the e-bike helps it stay in a straight line, where the extra travel on the downhill bike helps it stay in a straight line. So these bikes are both, uh, yeah, really fast. Custom modifications. None. So I haven't done any crazy modifications, but I've definitely tweaked a couple things. Um, the bars I've run really pretty far forward, and I've also got my brakes pretty high. Not quite level, but almost. Um, yeah, it just helps me get into the kind of right riding position that I like, and it also eliminates some arm pump. Um, I've got 15 mils of stem spacers underneath just to bring that bars up even more. And uh, that's about it. So that sums up my e-bike build for this off season. Yeah, I absolutely love how this thing's been riding. The color's perfect and uh, can't wait to put some more miles on it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>